it's still wet and the tractor sinks down the dirt that's not good because there's always going to be some seed on the top not on the ground where we want it we had a lot of rain like a lot of rain a non-stop week of rain and you can tell because it's been like four days since there we had no rain and it still hasn't dried up I don't know if the camera picks this up but you can see over here on this side this is where the rower went to and it didn't over here that's because the rain began and it, it was already getting muddy and this is exactly why we row if you don't row the plant won't grow as consistently and just when I thought we were crazy there's someone else doing the same thing in my opinion this is pure insanity but we don't really have a choice so we're gonna do whatever we can to make this work so I am not gonna spend too much time talking about this but they left me alone to row and basically like I said yesterday rolling is very important you may not think about it when you first start rolling but when you see the results basically what ended up happening I'll show you right now this over here has not been rolled that field over there has been rolled and you just can see this is not growing as well as that over there so basically let's go rolling It's kind of hard to see on camera, but this is where the rover went through and this here The rover didn't as you can see just because we Planted in mud there are some seeds on top of the ground and that's not good So another advantage of the rover is that it manages To pack those seeds a little bit harder in the ground so the roots know where to go Basically just take my advice for this you need to roll. Rolling is very good. It doesn't take a lot of time, it's not a lot of labor, you won't waste a lot of money doing it. But it's just so good, it's something that just needs to be done. I know a lot of colleagues that do this without rolling and their results are nowhere as near as good as ours. Now, check this out. Any time you want to do a headland, you slow down and you want to take this corner as wide as possible because if you try to take it your your front tires will pick up some dirt and that's not good at all just take it slow gradual get back on your line and as soon as you're back on your line you just throttle up and go back at it it's that simple check this out anytime you want to get going in this piece you gotta give it a lot of gas. See, I'm very letting off the clutch. And I can already smell the clutch. I guess this is the lower summer. Way too good for the walking edge. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. The ride is kind of rough. Uh, the actual reason that the ride is so rough is because I'm going sideways as opposed to the way that the Cody made the way. And at this point, in the summer one, basically I'm just running into their route sideways. So that makes the ride really rough. It makes the ride pretty rough, but it gives better results in the end. I hate to see them leave, but I love to watch them go. You've heard that somewhere else, right? Sometimes I'm just very bored that this looks like this, and magically I end up breaking something. 
Whoopsie, I didn't see that one. I don't even know how that happened. But I gotta do something about that. So now basically I'm done with this field. I was just running the tractor around in circles because I have nothing better to do. They brought me this over and I gotta say I'm thankful. I can probably go over 60 hours without sleep if they keep on bringing me this. We are not going to be moving to another field because yet again there is rain coming in. There is just no point in moving the tractor, going over there, assembling the rollers again and the rain starting. There is just no point. Take a look at this. I wonder what this one does. Just kidding, that one was for my lights. What I was doing back there, I was trying to show you the tractor was literally shooting sparks off out of its exhaust. That's a byproduct of running full throttle the whole day, literally. But of course, it's camera shy and it won't do it on the camera. I don't know if the camera picks up this beauty, but the weather is absolutely amazing right now. Gonna be buried, so it's gonna stay on top. That's not good at all. 